So Floyd Mayweather came out on Fight Hype and gave his two cents on Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. He stated that Manny Pacquiao is a tricky opponent and he set traps where he tried to lure you in by throwing throwaway shots and then whenever you do fall into the trap, he catches you. However, Floyd Mayweather, on the other hand, he's just better at setting traps than Manny Pacquiao. But what makes Floyd Money Mayweather so unique is why he's setting up traps. He's still in the safe zone. He don't put himself in harm. I remember when he had Canelo Alvarez on the ropes and he was teeing off on Canelo Alvarez. He always maintained his distance and he was scoring on Canelo while anticipating counters. And that's why Canelo could never catch him. So he spoke on Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman and he stated that's not no easy fight. And he put his two cents where he praised Pacquiao in a way and he said he's a, a great fighter and what makes him unique is the fact that he's awkward and he's a softball and he comes at you with different angles with head movement. However, he can never beat me because obviously Floyd Mayweather is a cut from a different cloth and he proved that throughout his career and that's why he 50 and 0 and so-called TBE. So even though Manny Pacquiao is 40 years old, obviously, he's still a very dangerous opponent for Keith Thurman. And the fact that there's no drug testing, at least not by Vada, that will give Manny Pacquiao even a better chance at beating Keith Thurman. And obviously Keith Thurman got all the advantages as far as youth, size, and uh, boxing IQ. But with the experience that Manny Pacquiao possesses, and like I said, with his tricky style, that Keith one time or run time Thurman likes to call uh, the jerky style or you know he fights like a rabbit with his in and out movement um, it's not as easy as it looks from the outside and Keith Thurman should know that you know obviously Manny Pacquiao will try to get you out of position with the in and out movement whenever he does uh, he let punches fly and especially if you're on the ropes Manny Pacquiao could be very dangerous However, with uh, Keith Thurman's style, with the fact that he likes to use the ring, it won't be so easy for Manny Pacquiao to cut off the ring against the Keith Thurman, especially with the power he possesses. So I believe Manny Pacquiao will respect the Keith Thurman as far as his punching power, and he won't just walk through Keith Thurman. So it's a, a very close fight. I'm favoring Keith Thurman, obviously, but with the drug test not being in place, anything can happen. And really anything can happen with two awkward fighters. You know, Manny Pacquiao is obviously an awkward fighter because he's a softball and he throws punches from all angles. And if there's a fighter with no head movement, he's going to have a hard time versus a Manny Pacquiao. But obviously Keith Thurman, uh, he uses his footwork more than his head movement. However, uh, Keith Thurman, with his power and the fact that he's very awkward himself, even with his offense, after he throws certain shots, the way he evades from certain shots is very awkward as well. And Danny Garcia experienced that. You know, he will throw wild punches, which is not a smart thing to do at the elite level. But what makes Keith Thurman very awkward is how he evades certain shots after he throws these wild punches. Um, he either slides to the right or the left. But the main thing is how he position his upper body when he does so. You know, so that's what's going to give Manny Pacquiao a hard time, I believe. Uh, they both awkward, like I said it before. So it's going to be a very intriguing fight to watch. But I believe the youth and the size and the fact that Keith Thurman is a big welterweight. And all these advantages that Keith Thurman has over Manny Pacquiao will give Manny Pacquiao all the trouble in the world. And it will definitely bring out everything that Manny Pacquiao has left. It's like really a mountain to climb for a Pacquiao. So if Pacquiao is able to pull off this win, it's definitely huge for his legacy. And obviously Manny Pacquiao is already a, a Hall of Famer. But the key to victory in this fight is definitely positioning and footwork. Whoever is able to establish a better positioning is going to be able to tee off on his opponent while being in the safe zone. And it's obviously softball versus an orthodox fighter. And that's why positioning is everything in this fight since both fighters like to use their footwork and both fighters got 
good footwork. Manny Pacquiao is more of an in and out fighter. Keith Thurman just likes to use the ring as a whole. But Keith Thurman has the reach advantage in this fight. So if he's able to keep Manny Pacquiao at the right distance the whole night, he would be able to be victorious. But as Keith Thurman stated, he want to knock out Manny Pacquiao. He want to send Manny Pacquiao to retirement. So he must make a statement because if he's just win this fight in a unanimous decision or even in a close fight, man, Keith Thurman won't hear the end of it because obviously he's been talking a lot. So he got to back it up. And on top of that, I mean, Keith Thurman is probably like the most hated fighter right now because he's not keeping the same energy with Manny Pacquiao and Danny Garcia and Sean Porter the same way with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. And the fact that he's fighting a Manny Pacquiao legend that's loved by the fans, that don't help. Especially if you're telling the world that you finna end his career the way he ended Oscar De La Hoya career. So he got to live up to what he's saying. And on top of all that, he must call out Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford to fight next after the fight. That might save him. If he doesn't do so and still claim he the number one welterweight, then like I said before, Keith Thurman won't hear the end of it. More hate will come his way. And he really doesn't need any more hate at this point. Uh, and to put respect on his name, like I said, he must call out Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford to fight next after the Manny Pacquiao fight. Because he's not hated like Floyd Mayweather was hated. Floyd Mayweather was, was just hated because he was undefeated. And fans that hated him wanted to see him lose. Keith Thurman, on the other hand, he stated he got an O and he ain't afraid to let it go. But he's maneuvering and ducking the Errol Spence and the Terrence Crawfords of the world. And like I said, the fact that he keep claiming he's the number one welterweight doesn't help either. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about it, second, don't and listen to these casual ass fans. And if y'all like the boxing memes that y'all see on my videos, subscribe and follow Latoon Boxing on Instagram and follow me and subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Aki TV. Peace and we out here.